guys welcome back to my channel my name is Cariel if this is your first time here I post videos about my day-to-day -day life living in the Caribbean I move between St. Croix and Trinidad and I also share a lot about my entrepreneurship journey because two years ago I decided to start a digital marketing business and I've been doing it full-time since I do content creation social media management email marketing you know anything in that realm um, working with small businesses here in the BI. I need to give you guys a full update because I haven't shown my face on this channel in a while. I will say that the past few months have been amazing. Like I have really been just like living life, living in the moment. I have still been vlogging, so don't worry. I have lots of videos coming for you guys. I just want to come and do a life update for you guys so we can kind of catch up and then I can post all the things that I know that you guys have been waiting for. So right now I am in St. Croix. I'm at my grandma's house. I'm sitting outside. This is pretty much the only place that I feel like I can film right now. The background is not pretty. I cannot... I just can't help it right now but um, I'm here I'm happy to be back here I've been doing a lot of traveling over the past few months last couple months and it's been really nice I had a really good reset it actually felt like vacation and yeah honestly I just want to talk to you about what's been going on so that you guys are caught up Hopefully you guys are keeping up with me on Instagram, but if you're not, then you're probably just like, where the heck have you been, Cariel? The last time you guys saw me, we were just about to go on our family vacation, and I was so excited for that vacation. I did so much work leading up to that vacation to make sure that it would be a real vacation and not a working vacation because I was definitely heading towards burnout. It didn't end up being a true vacation. I ended up working doing a lot of extra work because I decided to put myself out of my comfort zone a little too much. Now my goal around that time was to do different things that would help me to get out of my comfort zone more. Basically, the vacation just ended up being super stressful on top of stress that I was already having and then some things happened while I was on this vacation that was also additional stress and my body was not having it. I got super sick. And since then, honestly, I've gotten sick so many times. And I think like reflecting back on that time in the past few months, it's just that I was so stressed and I think my body just was not having any more of it. I've definitely just been focusing more on the business side of things. I've been focusing more on client work, creative work with clients. So I haven't really been focusing on my own personal content. I was focusing a little bit too much on the parts of the business that make me the most money. I really do hope this year to focus more on the parts that bring me more joy. And hopefully, you know, more money will come from those parts of the business which include YouTube. So I do post content here on YouTube and I post content on Instagram. And to be honest, it's a lot easier for me to post on Instagram. So if you do follow me over there, you probably have been keeping up with me over the past few months because I'm very active on there. I post on my stories pretty much every day. And it's not just, you know, like me talking to the camera. Like I try to take you guys through all of the experiences that I have. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really want it to sound like excuses because I definitely had time to sit down and edit the videos that I needed to edit. But I could not focus on anything but the things that were right in front of me that needed to be done. And sadly, like very sad for me really, because I do really love YouTube. YouTube was not at the top of that list and I just could not get it done. Whenever I put out YouTube videos, I really want them to be the best quality that they can be. I want them to look the way that I want them to look. I want to add in all of my little texts and little, you know, things. Just there's so many little things that go into these videos and I know they're short and they might seem like, oh, you know, she just like chopped it up and like put it up real quick. It takes a lot of time, like hours and hours to put up just one little 20 minute video. I have lots of little things that I started doing with my videos and it just takes a lot longer to edit now. I don't mind that it takes longer, but it's harder when you want to push out the content and you don't have time to like work on your own stuff. I just feel like once I fell off my routine, it was extremely hard for me to hop back on. The only reason I feel a lot better now is because I finally took some time for myself to actually relax and actually have a vacation and I haven't been stressed. Like, I feel so much better now, so you guys can expect a lot more from me. I guess that's just like a quick little wrap up of what happened. Like, the main reason that I haven't posted, stress, burnout, and I really needed a vacation. So I've been doing some traveling. You guys know that I spent six months in Trinidad last year, spent six months in St. Croix, and I finally got back to Trinidad in January after Crucian Christmas Festival, which don't worry, I definitely, even though I haven't posted on YouTube, I have been vlogging the entire time. So I have so much content from 
during that time that you guys haven't seen me so you guys will definitely be able to like fully catch up with me but um yeah after christian christmas festival i went to trinidad spent time with my family for three weeks and then the last week we went to trinidad carnival i was able to do carnival with a whole bunch of my friends and it was really nice really fun had an just had such a great time i went back to jamaica for the first time in like 10 years which is extremely wild to even think about that but um it was the most amazing time we did like a few like touristy activities but the rest of it was really just like hanging out with like a bunch of friends that i met in jamaica 10 years ago and then hanging out with friends that i went to college with so it was just like a giant reunion and everything was just it just made me feel really good while i was there i really got to kind of step away from work there were like a few things that i had to do here and there but it wasn't like i was on my computer all day long every day i really got the chance to like hang out with friends and like really enjoy being in the moment so it did feel like an actual vacation the past month really did feel like an actual vacation and i just i'm back here now and i feel so inspired obviously i'm here and i'm and I've edited this video. I've edited the next video that's going up. You guys are going to get two videos this week. Bottom line, how I'm feeling right now, I feel better. I'm not feeling burnt out anymore. I'm ready to get back into work. I'm ready to edit. I'm ready to connect with you guys again because I really do miss my little community that I built here on YouTube. So, And also, even though I haven't been posting, I've been meeting a lot of you over the past few months here in St. Croix. So if you came up to me and said hi, Thank you for coming up and saying hi. I got lots of pictures with you guys during like Christian Christmas Festival and all those little activities and events that we've been going to. So yeah, I don't know. My heart has been feeling very full because I, even though I haven't been posting, I've still been getting like a lot of good feedback from you guys. And I know that you guys also understand, you know, why I haven't been posting and why I haven't been like super consistent on here, but definitely ready to get back into it again. And I hope you guys are ready to watch because I have a lot of stuff for you. Plan is to post consistently on YouTube, Post consistently on Instagram obviously continue working with all the clients that I have right now um, I do want to take on new clients but I really want to focus more on content creation actually so like more travel content creation I want to work with more travel clients when I first started this business I said that that was the niche that I was trying to get into and I think I need to make more of an effort to do that so that's gonna be my goal for 2024 and in line with that, my goal for 2024, like personal goal, is also to just travel more because last year, even though I spent like half my time in Trinidad, half my time here, those places still do feel a lot like home to me. I would like to do some more exploring while I'm in those places, but also I want to explore some new places and revisit places that I haven't been to for a while or that I just want to visit again. So I do have a lot of travel planned in the next couple of months. Um, and I guess I guess I could share that with you right now. So um, I do have a trip planned to Mexico. I'm going there for a wedding and I just want to hang around for a little bit and do some other little touristy things while I'm there. Um, there were some things that I didn't get to do in Mexico City the last time. So I'm going to make some time to do them this time. After that, it'll be around my birthday. So I want to go to New York City. I think it's going to be so nice that I get to spend time in both of my favorite cities uh, around my birthday. So Mexico City, New York City, then I'm going to be in Dallas. I'm going to spend some time with my cousin there. And then I'm going to hopefully stop in Austin and see Alex because Alex just moved to Austin. You guys remember Alex from past videos. I have to be back in St. Croix. Adriel's going to be graduating from university, so I'm very excited to be here for his graduation. And then after that, I'm going to be going to another graduation in D.C. to see my friend Will because he's going to be graduating from grad school. And then from there, you know, it's up in the air. Lots of things can happen. We have lots of options, and I'm very excited for this year. A lot, it's definitely going to be the year of travel, and we're going to make it happen. And we're going to do a much better job at balancing things this year. And honestly, to just wrap this up, because I feel like I've been talking for forever and I really hope all of this made sense. But to wrap this up, I just want to say thank you guys for sticking with me. And I hope you are looking forward to the videos that are to come. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.